I'm pressing the button? Well, here we are, Internet. It's late August. It's Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. And my name is Torin Atkinson, and I'm going to teach you all about Spaceship Zero, the video game. Get out of frame. <laughs> and um, my, thanks to my friend Louise, who's a uh, computer I am using, and she's doing all the technical things since I am an old man who doesn't know how technology works anymore. At some point, this happened to me. Uh, so Spaceship Zero uh, came from a, um, originally was a compact disc, an album by my band, The Darkest of the Hillside Thickets. We are an H.P. Lovecraft themed nerd band from Vancouver, B.C. And we were formed in 1992. And this was our third CD, maybe? Spaceship Zero original motion picture soundtrack to a motion picture that has yet to be released. Uh, this game was designed by uh, Dan Ross, and the music was by Thomas Falk, based on more or less the songs off of the album. And what happens in Spaceship Zero is, well, maybe we'll just play the game and the story will tell itself. Are you ready? Here comes Spaceship Zero. Prologue. In the year 2025, Space Corp launched a test ship for the world's first better-than-light drive. When activated, the ship gained infinite speed as well as infinite mass, and in so doing created a second Big Bang. To their horror, the crew discovered they had destroyed the universe and spent the next 15 billion years deconstituted while stars and galaxies slowly reformed. After a time, the, clue is a, the crew is abruptly brought out of decon by the computer to the sound of the proximity alarm. Whip, 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 whip. Here we go. I think this uh, video game has five or six levels to it. As you can see, it's very reminiscent of a certain uh, early 80s video game called Space Invaders. Uh, this is the egg phase, um, as you will see. Uh, the idea in Spaceship Zero is that um, when the crew of Spaceship Zero returns to Earth, they've discovered that it's been taken over by the evil Hydronauts, which are basically deep ones, if you're familiar with the story uh, by H.P. Lovecraft called the, Sh the Shadow Over Innsmouth. Uh, they're basically deep ones in spacesuits. War Dawn. The crew of Spaceship Zero managed to repel the strange hostile forces. Now low on supplies and fuel, the crew searches desperately for some kind of planetoid. As the days pass without any sign of reprieve, they decide to send out a distress signal. Unfortunately for the crew, the call is answered. Wave number two by Space Tadpoles. Sperm from the stars. Yes, they've come to inseminate our world and impregnate the planet Earth with their horrible star spawn. It's a good time. Um, but we, the humans, don't want that to happen because it's just too icky. It's too eldritch. I'm having trouble with uh, some of these side guys. Um, so, middle's always fun. Uh, Dan Ross is um, the designer of the aliens uh, after our initial designs for the um, album and there was also a... Oh my god, there's the boss. It's King Tadpole. Perhaps it's Mother Dagon. Perhaps it's Father Hydra. No, I got those backwards. Um, and uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, there's a Spaceship Zero role-playing game. A, a print role-playing game. Oh, I make it look so easy, but this is actually kind of a tough game. Um, which was published by Green Ronin, the uh, pen and paper role-playing game. And you can get it on Amazon.com or GreenRonin.com on their store. So here we go. Escape from the slave ship. Brought aboard a strange giant slave ship controlled by frog-like hydronauts. The crew is tortured and their technology studied. Only through dumb luck and equally dumb heroics do the crew members burst their bonds and sneak back to the docking bay and to Spaceship Zero. On the way, they encounter the slave race of the hydronauts. Human beings who are forced to mine and process ore to fuel their war efforts of the masters. Does this mean that Earth is nearby? Yes, yes it does. Um, so the music designed by, electronically composed by Thomas Falk, our ally and sometimes band member whenever we're playing on the road in the, uh, he lives in New York, so whenever we're near New York, uh, Ontario, 
New York State. Providence, Rhode Island we played, and uh, he's a guitarist, but he also created many of the tracks on Spaceship Zero original motion picture soundtrack. All right, let's go. There they are. We're in the hangar bay. We've got some real full-grown adult hydronauts um, marching conveniently very close together, and the spaceship is just taking them out. I'm surprised I haven't lost any of the, uh, what is happening behind me? This is an extra added level that you may not get at home <laughs> when Spaceship Zero uh, shoots into frame. Oh, and here we go. I don't even know what this is. Thank you, Dan Ross, for this weird semi-Lovecraftian. He's got an amazing spine. Dan Ross uh, works now. What does he work? He works uh, for Activision, Toys for Bob. They created Skylanders. Um... And uh, he, when he made this game, I guess he used the same software to for an actual retail game called Watchy's Adventure. So you can look that up. All right, where are we at? Level four? Rock and roll. Thanks to the human slaves aboard the Hydronaut slave ship, the crew of Spaceship Zero receives coordinates for what they believe to be a version of Earth in this strange new universe. Their hopes run high as they pass Pluto, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter, and of course, the asteroid belt. Yes. Yes, we got a Silver Any Award, which I broke. <laughs> um, it was, uh, it got the silver. So it was, when it was released, the year it came out, it was the second best independent role-playing game. All right, here we go. Thank you, Luis. This is, um, oh, you got to be careful on this level, because when you shoot the asteroids, they break off into, and what was, I saw something flittering up there at the top of the screen. Oh, my God, it's the color out of space. Oh, I died, but there was no explosion. That's an error. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, there's the explosion, but no sound. All right, I'm dying quickly on this level, but... I'm confident. Confidence is high. My god, oh, see? We got a... what do we call it? An extra life. Thank you. Um, the members of the band, uh, when this album was released, Spaceship Zero Original Motion Picture Soundtrack, was me, of course. Um, our uh, co-founder Warren Banks on guitar. I'm just going to try to avoid shooting things as much as possible because that actually gets me in more trouble. There's a little pro tip, um, but sometimes you just, if you don't kill those, oh, there I go. Down I go. <laughs> There's too much going on in this level. Um, Jordan Pratt was our drummer. Um, who was our bassist at the time? I believe it was Bob Fugger. Thank God, there's so many bonus men on this level. And Mario Nieve, who was our current second guitarist, was not yet part of the band. And I believe Merrick Atkinson, who is our bassist now, also my brother, was just the ba just did backup vocals at this time. Uh, we have a new album which we released recently called, um, what is it called? The Dukes of Alhazred. And you can get that on Bandcamp, you can get it on websites where music is sold, I guess. Whatever that is these days, Spotify, iTunes. Okay, now I just died on the whatever, there was no, there was no uh, preamble for this level. I guess these are the slave ships? It's been a long time since I played this, a long time since I played this game, so I, I'm not exactly sure what is going on. But, I'm making short work. Oh no. Don't distract me, I only have one man left! But you can see Earth in the background. I'm so hopeful. Uh, the other thing about this game is you can only have three bullets. Oh, there I go. Down I go. You can only have three bullets. Oh, I do have another man. Okay, well, I have let the Spaceship Zero be destroyed. Now chaos will reign in the universe. Good going. I was so close to the end, but through the magic of editing, uh, we'll see if we can pick up at this point. And uh, good luck to me. Oh, I get to put in my name. This is important. Um, my name is Thrill House. <laughs> okay, here we go. Classic. Um, I got second place, 1183. Story adapted by Torn McBorn McBin. That's me. 
Oh yeah, the Spaceship Zero movie track soundtrack is available on DivineIndustries.com. I think that's probably still true. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Phew. The home stretch. Having navigated through the asteroid belt, Spaceship Zero passes Mars and finally reaches Earth. Plans to land and relax are foiled, however, but it becomes apparent that this Earth is in the process of being terraformed to suit the needs of the evil Hydronauts. And the entire human race subjugated to the will of the Toad Things and his superior technology. The crew's only chance is to break through a thin spot in the Hydronauts' fortifications. All right, I gotta get to Earth. I've got to get to Earth. Uh, funny thing about this game is you can only have three of your laser blasts uh, in space at any given time, so you have to take that into account. These, I guess, are the Hydronaut slave ships. Looking good. I'm getting close. They have very long um, laser blasts, though. They're particularly deadly. Okay. Oh my god! It's a Cthulhu spaceship? Oh, it's too horrible to contemplate. Look at that, it's amazing. Uh, Spaceship Zero also has some radio plays. Recently unearthed radio plays based on the... Oh my god, a stray bullet. Fifth wave completed. Looking pretty good. I killed the Cthulhu spaceship. Uh, yeah, so you can go to YouTube and just... Well, I'll put some links on this video as well for everything I've talked about. But you can go to YouTube and listen to the... There's six recently restored radio plays of Spaceship Zero from the old-timey radio days. Uh, the Faith of Adversity. Spaceship Zero has landed in a remote mountain range. Populated by a ragtag underground resistance of humans, they tell this crew stories of a legendary god thing, the great father of the Frog Star, worshipped by the Hydronauts and residing at the bottom of the ocean. Perhaps there lies a clue to the freedom of humankind. This is for all the marbles. I think that I believe this is the last level. Um, there was also a Spaceship Zero comic book I can mention. Again, I'll put a link into uh, the comments or the. Uh... No, the final boss is an old kitty cat. It's a cat from Ulfar or possibly Saturn. All right, let's do this. Oh my God! They're coming in from all sides. I'm in, it looks like I'm in, like, sunken relief. The city of Cthulhu himself. Oh, this isn't so hard. Look, they bleed just like humans. <laughs> uh, if it bleeds, we can kill it. So this is exciting and confusing. They're coming in from both sides. How many do I have to kill? Is there, are they never ending? Uh... That's right, it's like a Call of Cthulhu game. You know you're not going to come out alive, but you have to save the Earth anyway. Do it for your sons and daughters. Um, thanks for watching this video. What a joy and a treat. Thanks to Louise for helping me make this happen. And um, make sure you check out all the links in the description. How long does this go on for? How many? There's just, they're all coming from space and landing. There's a never-ending supply. I have finished the game. It's been a while. It's been a long, long while. Um, apologies for any glitches uh, you may experience or have experienced watching this video. No! That's okay, I got two more guys. I can do it. I can do it, I swear. I'm just staying in the middle. I think it's okay, that was a mistake. I have one. I have one more. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this. This is really hard. I have one man, and now I have no man. So, that was the, I, that was the end. That's the end of me. Um, maybe I'll try to give it another run. But if not, thanks for watching. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, oh, show you do a little plug for Spaceship Zero, the role-playing game. Available at your favorite local game store. If not... Order it in. <laughs> all right, all right. Don't don't ham it up. Uh, I have been Torn Atkinson. Uh, credits are rolling on this exciting part uh, chapter of this adventure of my life. Goodbye. Thrill House.
Looking good. Looking good. Safaris. So oh no. Oh. No! <laughs> Multimedia Fusion Express standalone application. Do you know what that is? I think that's this. Oh. Well. Oh, that's really sad, Tori. <laughs> that's really sad. Do you want to send information? <laughs> Okay, well. I know. I was. It was me about to win. There's no question about it. I had like. I had three lives. Okay, okay. Here we go. Bad Cthulhu. Oh, okay. Don't panic. Start panicking. <laughs> Yay, you have destroyed Cthulhu. You can't just destroy Cthulhu. Oh yeah, look, we got a picture of the slaves being freed. Epilogue. Congratulations to Spaceship Zero and her intrepid crew! The death of the mighty Toad God has shaken the faith and morale of the Hydronauts and led to human revolt on a global scale. There may yet be a chance that humankind will retake the Earth and perhaps one day, the stars. But what about the rumors that tell of a great war of the Hydronauts? What kind of threat could they be fighting far off in the stars? And what are the implications of a crippled Hydronaut line of defense? Time will tell! The end? So we can see on the left hand side we got Jordan, our drummer, he's holding on to Warren, our guitarist. He's holding on to Leah, who's a super fan, and Garrett is right behind her. And then we got a bunch of other people in the background. You're not in this picture. No, I'm not in. Oh, look at the little in the bottom right hand corner of that poor dead Hydronaut. He didn't make it. So sad. So this, this has been Spaceship Zero, the video game. And special thanks to Dan and Thomas and uh, Louise for everyone's help in making this possible. Aye aye and goodbye. And I'm going to enter my name. Which, as always, Thrill House. I've played this game three times today. 2,774 points. Are we done here? We're done. We did it. Oh my god. If the if they're space sperms, what are they shooting? <laughs>